Stevie, how are you? Hello. Kanate scored today, but got absolutely skinned a couple of times and was directly responsible for Benfica's goal. Should he drop down the pecking order in Liverpool's back four? Well, actually, I think if if Klopp's got everybody 100% fit, I don't think Kanate starts. I think Matip starts. Right. So he's actually he's actually down the pecking order as it is, and you probably saw why. As good as he can be. Sometimes you can do something really stupid like you did today. I mean, that's just that's just a whiff on the ball. That's not acceptable in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. <laughs> that's not acceptable on uh, no. Sunday morning kick around no, with your no, friends. That's also true. <laughs> uh, Nadem, who do you think is better and has the higher potential? Foden mm. or Pedri? Do you know what? I never thought I'd be speaking about like a young boy from Manchester who's being spoken about in such a manner, who's got sort of similar sort of skill sets. I think the two, I think the two are very different. I think Phil Foden as a forward player, like the stuff, the way he's for Man City, like people are really, really excited about him. But it's also the same for Pedri at Barca. But for me, like, I love Pedri, but let my Manchester City bias kick in. I'm going to obviously say Phil Foden. You're okay, Ali, with that? Well, I'm not okay with it, no. I I would take Pedri all day. He's only 19 and doing some special things. But I was asking today the question as to why are you not starting Phil Foden? Because of how different he can be in those moments where he can give you something special that I don't think some of the other players in Manchester City can give you. Uh, it's difficult when you're an invisible nine to make that impact, though, yeah. isn't it, <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> I, I had a question. You said expletive. I'm, I thought it was expletives. 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 Mm. Yeah. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. Not in this country. No? I don't How think How do you so. say expletives? Expletives. Yes. Oh. There we are. And mm. in this country, I'm pretty sure that's All the right. case. We, no, we, we, the Queen's English, we would have expletives. Oh, well, that's not the one I learned. You know? one, I'm one, one, one would swear. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that's <laughs> not what they matter. taught me here. My bad. Nidham's an educated man. <laughs> What, so what, what makes you think that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get by to you. Yeah. I'm sure it's not temperament. Uh, are we going expletives or expletives? Oh, yeah, classic, yeah. Uh, if I was in the UK, I'd say expletive, but over there is expletive, yeah. Sorry oh, about that. There you are. Ah, well, there you go. <laughs> but it's not temperament. We know that. <laughs> so what would you say in Scotland? <laughs> you would just say the swear words, hey. I wouldn't mess around. <laughs> the bit one before the expletives, right? For Stevie, what are your thoughts on Paul Tierney being chosen for the City versus Liverpool game? Is that the referee? Must be the referee. Yes, yeah, the referee. Has he got history? Is there a reason? I've got absolutely no thoughts on it at all. What's, what's wrong with him? He's the VAR. <laughs> what's wrong with him? They're two Manchester people, apparently. No. Anthony Taylor and Paul Tierney. No. No. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Ah, it's conspiracies though. Oh. Yeah, no, you, no, not a chance. I would suggest, right? Oh, here we go. They're more likely to go the other way because they're from Manchester. Okay. Really? To prove a point? To prove a point. I know. The old double bluff. I know. The old double my, my dad, My dad was my teacher and he'd be heavier on me than anyone else in the class. Oh, well, I there can't. you go. There you are, you need to prove a point, there is no favouritism. And how good of a student were you, Dan? Very good. Oh. Yeah, hence the glasses. <laughs> yeah. You dropped out of college, didn't you? <laughs> I didn't drop out of college. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> no. Oh, no, all right. So, wow. I got my degree. Did you? Yes. Why did I think you dropped? I don't know. <laughs> I had a baby at college, but that's another story. Well. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. For Ali. The Manchester City fan, is he not? He is a big Manchester City oh, okay. fan, yeah. For Ali, rank these three team these three in terms of ball control and dribbling. Okay, where are the three? Ronaldinho. Messi. Neymar. Ball control and dribbling. This is the yeah. That's the it. criteria that's been given. That's it. Yes. Ronaldinho, number one. Yep. Ball control and dribbling, huh? I can't do it. I can't do it. Messi then Neymar. Oh, I'm I, surprised it would gave you that much. Uh... Well, because if it's ball control and dribbling, I'm Neymar is special. 
but I'm gonna say Messi, then Neymar. Ronaldinho number one at ball control and dribbling alone. Ali, Naden, if you could stop any transfer from your playing days, your own or somebody else's, who would it be? <laughs> Oof. Oh my God. Oh, Is it for I, me? Oh no, I, I think I could answer you as my bit. Well, oh. go ahead. Yes. Chivas uh, USA? Chivas USA. Chivas USA, yeah. Chivas USA. USA. People might not know what Chivas USA, what it is. Oh. Well, what it was, it no longer exists. And it was at one point an expansion team in Major League Soccer that was intended to be catering towards the Latino community or Mexican-American community in Los Angeles. Right. Uh, that didn't work out because it ended becoming sort of a minor league team, if you will, uh, sort of a, a feeder system to, or a fake Chivas, because it was an extension of Chivas Invisible Guadalajara. Chivas. Invisible, yeah. yes. A, a fake Chivas. How long were you there for? I was there for two very long years that... How was your mood? Because you can be quite temperamental at the best of times. Uh, <laughs> well, let's just say that I chose to retire rather than continue to play for Chivas USA. Yes. Wow. Yes, I, I was not going to do that anymore. Didn't want to put my family through that. It was a difficult time. It's actually a time that I don't speak about until you bring it up, Dan. So it's all your fault, really. <laughs> <laughs> Nadem, what wounds can I pick of yours? <laughs> okay, here's some wounds for you. I think any one of the about five centre backs that were brought in to replace me at Man City across a two year stretch. How about any yeah. of those? That'll probably help. Yeah, thanks. Let's cancel all those ones, yeah. Nadem, what's that like? <sighs> Honestly, like, at this point, I was in the side. And then all of a sudden you've seen the, the players that the clubs are linked with and you're like, well, they're all defenders. So you're thinking, hmm, are they going to spend 20, 30 million pounds on a player and then they're going to come in and not play? Hmm, doesn't look too good for me, this. But yeah, at the end of the day, once they arrive, you're still competing for a spot. And I always ended up playing until that final year with Mancini. So I guess in some ways it just makes you try harder because you just have to work harder to be in your position. You, you couldn't have enjoyed going to QPR, Nathan. Oh, that must have been tough. I was there for six and a half years. I was there for six and a half years, played over 200 games. There were some highs, but there were some really low lows. But the fact is, I think when you look at some people who never get the chance to play for even a single year, looking back, you know, I appreciate that. I won at, I won at Wembley in the playoff final, won some big games and stuff like that. It wasn't where, in the championship, where I wanted to end up, but the fact is I still got the chance to play as a professional. So I, I, don't, I look back quite fondly of it overall. Can I, can I give you a little insight into my transition to Chivas USA. I don't know, Ali, if we need to continue talking about this. No, no, I'm I guess we're I, taking you to a dark place. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I'm already in a dark place, Dan. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, I actually, it, it was an expansion draft. And, and so I, I was left unprotected by, I think at the time, was the Philadelphia Union. Right. And so who was going to be the manager for Portland Timbers, that, that was the expansion team that was coming in, and okay. Vancouver was coming in also as an expansion team. Right. The manager at that time, John Spencer, had right. reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to come to Portland? Okay. And I said, no, because I didn't want to move the family from Philadelphia. I just didn't want to be selected in the expansion draft. I just wanted to be left alone sure. in Philadelphia. I said no to going to Portland, and we know what Portland then became, okay? Yes. And then Vancouver selects me with no intention of having me play for them. It was just to trade me to. You Chivas. were just a pawn. I was just a pawn, wow. used to then to get allocation money for for Vancouver, and I then went to Chivas USA. How many expletives? Well, there were expletives, expletives, uh, <laughs> temperament, and temperament <laughs> all over the place. Yep, that was a happy time. Oh, good. Yeah. Thank you, Dan. That's a, it wasn't me, the question. No, no, it like, was you, Dan. It, it was, was you. It wasn't me. <laughs> you and your glasses, Dan. Come on. Uh, what's, Stevie, what's your favorite classic horror monster movie? Ooh. When I think of oh, you, I don't, I don't think a horror monster movie. I, I don't. Dracula, The Wolfman, Frankenstein, or The Invisible Knight. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, 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 hey. Uh, <laughs> I mean, very, very good, clear. very good. Yeah. I, I do not watch, you know, my grandson asked me to watch one last week, I was like, ah, no chance. No. No, I saw, as a kid, when The Exorcist came out. Ooh. Say again? The Exorcist. Right. I think I was about 15 at the time. And it was on at the local hall. We used mm. to go to the hall and play, play snooker and badminton and all kinds. And they were, okay. they were putting The Exorcist on. Right. So for some reason, I went. And I had to walk home on my own after it. And I had to walk past the cemetery as well. Oh. I'll tell you what, I've never been so scared in all my life. <laughs> and ever since then, I'll just not watch any horror movies. No, I've never, I've never even seen The Exorcist. It doesn't. No, no. No, it's, it's scary. No. I don't want to be scared. I like scary movies. Do you? <laughs> That's yes. why you went to Chief Yes. Say. Yes. <laughs> Correct. Yes. I wanted to see the gore. <laughs> do you, Ali? I do. Really? I, I do. I, I like the excitement, yes. So, what, what do you think of The Invisible Nine? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that would be scary. <laughs> really scary. What's your classic go to horror movie then? Well, not a classic one, but I do like me some paranormal activity. I watch that. Really? I watch that uh, and the whole, I've watched the whole series of those. Yep. Paranorman. Have you seen Paranorman? No. It's a kid's movie. Ah, well, it's a scary one. I watched yeah. that. <laughs> what? Come on. What? <laughs> <laughs> I've never watched it. Paranorman. No. No? No. <laughs> I recommend it. Uh, uh, Naden, where do you stand on horror movies? Yeah, not for me. I don't like the idea of pain to be petrified and then to sort of go through things like Stevie went through where you're just looking at the world in a different manner. So I tend to go for comedies ah. and action and things like that. It's just a bit ooh, more fun. Ooh. The, oh. exor the Exorcism of Emil Rose, that's a good one too. Yep, that's a good one. No, it doesn't appeal. No. no. Oh, that's no, a good one. No. She gets possessed. She's like, sex, 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 sex. I was like, oh, good. Yeah. Uh-huh. I like Does, Does Melissa like them as well? No, of course not. So you just sit on your own and watch them? Well, no. Well, I, I, have, I have to be by myself when I watch them because <laughs> nobody will watch them with me. I just sworn you asked if you sit and watch them on your own and you said no. <laughs> no I said, Followed by, no, I said, I'm on my own. No, I said, does Melissa watch them with him? Yeah. Oh, I beg your pardon. No, yeah, I can't. <laughs> I, I try to convince a family at times, like, oh, let's watch a scary movie and everybody just shuts me down. But, no. You know, that's all right. I love my family anyway. Well, there we go. I don't know how much I feel how they feel about me, but I do love them. Uh, that is it. We are done. Thank you very much. My contact lens has arrived. Hey! Hey! Thank Hallelujah. goodness for that. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'll send you my glasses, <laughs> Nathan. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, of course, to reflect <laughs> on uh, Chelsea against Real Madrid. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.